Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome to Router Two Brief. Thank you so much. I just wanted to do like a special shout out to all you guys for watching this fucking channel. It means a lot. You know, when I started this channel a couple years ago, I um I thought, you know, wouldn't it be nice if I could get like maybe a hundred subscribers before. I, you know, it's not Saturday. I do a show every Saturday. It's Wednesday night. I was in the mood to make a video, which you'll get these videos as I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood, so here you go. Um, I want to show you some really cool footage I shot with my new camera, the GX85. Love this thing, man. I've been a photographer for 35 years, and I got rid of one of my DSLRs to get this guy. More information on this camera on my Rodder Studios channel. See the link below for that YouTube channel where I talk about audio engineering, video production, and music. I've got some cool footage I can't wait to show you, so instead of giving it to you on Saturday, I'm gonna do it now. But first, I had a few thoughts I wanted to share with you. Video production is my passion, and that's one of the main reasons I do it. Plus, I've helped a lot of you out. Where the hell did that Peter Brady shit come from? This is just like a little video just to kind of fill you in on what's gonna go on for 2017. I have no idea. Every week, I don't think, what the hell am I going to make a video about? I am not going to do that. Every time I do something, that's a show. If you find it funny, if you find it humorous, awesome. I'm just being myself. If you find it helpful, that's even better. If you don't find it helpful, there's plenty of other videos to watch out there. Just like in music. Every note has been played. Every chord progression has been done. It just depends on how you put your feel into it and how you make it your own. Same with videos. When you do YouTube videos or if you're trying to start a channel, there's going to be uh, jagoffs out there. Um, you see them on all your favorite YouTube channels, even not so favorite YouTube channels. So if you're trying to get a YouTube channel off the ground, just do what you want to do. Don't, please, please don't worry about what do people want to see. I get the bad comments too. Not a lot, which is good. I don't take shit from anyone. Um, and I'm an incredibly honest person. So it's admittedly sometimes hard for me to control myself because I always voice my opinion. The best information that's been given from other YouTubers on other channels is to just ignore them. Here's an example. The Jagoff said, why'd you make a video on this? Uh, so many other people have already done this. Okay, um, millions of people have done videos on how to do a water change, how to buy a fish, how to set up a water uh, aquarium. How to keep Nemo fish. How to keep blue tangs. Should you buy blue tangs? How to feed your fish. What fish food to buy? Oh, that reminds me. I got something for that guy. <clears throat> Here somewhere. Where the hell did I put that? Oh, there it is. Proving once again animals are better than people. A lot of you guys asked if I have a GoFundMe account. And that's like Kickstarter. I tried Kickstarter to fund an album I was recording uh, a few years ago. It didn't go anywhere. Uh, the GoFundMe thing, you guys are asking, so you'd like to see a bigger aquarium. So would I. Um, don't have any money for that, although I found an awesome aquarium. Um, it's like eight feet long, which is what you need. Longer the better, that's what she said. For my tanks, because all fish like to swim back and forth. I'm not a fan of tall tanks because they're a pain in the ass to clean, and the fish... They'll go up and down once in a while, but usually, I mean, most of the time, they want to swim left to right, left to right. I already have a six foot long tank, so why would I get another six foot long? I would ideally really like an eight foot long tank. So, I'm thinking about that now. That'd be awesome. Enjoy the footage with the GX85. 